This channel contains mature subject matter, so if you're not 19 years or older, don't watch this channel. With that being said, let's get into it. What's up everybody? Uh, just a little update and a garden tip for you guys and gals. So when, uh, when the plants start to get to the point where they're gonna do their final maturing, uh, when the hairs start to go brown, when the buds finish up, when they start fattening, getting dense, I like to look at the buds and I like to find Hairs that have started to go brown. So when I go around the plant and I start to see the odd bud or the odd brown hair here and there, so there, that one bud had a few brown hairs, this one has none. That one looks like it has one or two maybe. So about the about the time when I walk around and I see about uh, one, you know, maybe one hair uh, on average per bud that has turned brown, that's what I consider to be about uh, three weeks from harvest. And it's not exactly the same for every plant or for all conditions. And obviously people like to harvest their buds at different times, so that's preference as well. But that's a general rule of thumb for me, is when I start seeing uh, hairs going brown naturally, uh, you know, about one, one brown hair on average, at least per bud, that's about a three-week marker for me. And that's regardless of uh, flowering time. You know, that could be uh, eight-week, nine-week, 12-week. Uh, you know, that seems to be pretty consistent for me. Strawberry lemonade's definitely going to take a little bit longer. Uh, it should take longer anyways. You need to make sure the hairs have gone brown. Uh, for natural reasons, you don't want it to be from any kind of damage uh, from insects or being bumped into or uh, being sprayed or too much sulfur burning. I mean, there's a whole bunch of different reasons uh, why your hairs will go brown prematurely. Pollination. Um, so when I make sure they're they're going brown naturally. Now the tips of some of the, uh, the strawberry lemonade, the tips of these, uh, these hairs are a little bit brown, but I don't see any whole brown hairs uh, that have went brown all the way down. So I don't think we're quite there on this one. All the plants are getting close to the three week mark anyways right now. Anything past that, I'm gonna have to be running heaters in here to keep it going. Yeah, the hash plant's right around three weeks away, probably right now, too. Yeah, that hash plant is a stinky girl. And the Bruce Banger here. They're all getting nice and frosty. Now the Bruce Banger and Strawberry Lemonade are gonna take a little bit longer. For those of you who haven't been keeping up with my grow, this plant is a little bit messed up from uh, overburning sulfur. But it's gonna be okay. This plant has a little bit of browning of the hairs, but I don't really see anything too consistent uh, when I look around the plant. So based off of the hairs, uh, 
if I'm saying that the hair's browning is three weeks till harvest, it's going to be the velvet bud first, then the hash plant, then probably the strawberry lemonade, and then the Bruce Banger at the back. That's my guess. The strawberry and lemonade and the Bruce Banger could swap places at some point here. I'm not sure how that's gonna work out. Definitely this one's gonna finish up first. You know, it's got pretty good sized buds. Buds are an all right size. They're getting nice and dense, nice and skunky smelling. The cool weather is hardening up the buds, making them nice and tight, making them nice and frosty. That cold weather really does increase the quality of the bud. That's one good thing about growing outdoors in BC. You know, that's one of the reasons BC bud is world class. It's cold. It stresses the plant in a good way. All right, everybody. That's all I got for you today. Hope you enjoyed it. Tobacco is going to be coming down soon too. It's getting pretty cold. Uh, the leaves aren't all completely yellowing yet. A lot of them are, but not all of them. Uh, so I might chop the tobacco just a little bit early so I can have enough time to hang dry it outside. Because if I hang it up inside, it's going to dry way too fast. All right, everyone. We'll see you next time. Thank you.